What is the key role in continuing education? Collaboration is a strategy used to develop systems of continuing education. And the formation of collaborative relationship is fundamentally a political process. So a political process that is taking the cause and benefits weight, including those involving organizational agendas other than those correct to the continuing education program. In a positive collaboration environment, effective partnerships are formed and developed. Goals achieved and a clear recognition of the benefits to be gained by the participating institutions or organizations. However, I had covered previously a little bit related to collaboration. For example, the one video link from above where you can find. There are issues need to be tackled that we need to pull in the element of collaboration. For example, continuing education for what? The struggle between updating professional's knowledge versus improving professional practice. For example, for benefits from continuing education, the struggle between the learning agenda and the political and economic agendas of continuing education. For example, who will provide continuing education? The struggle for tough versus collaborative relationships. We emphasize so much the idea of collaboration in continuing education. Therefore, if your firm or organization satisfy the four trends, then you can use the idea of collaboration. So these are the four trends I'm going to mention. The first one, continuing education is being used more frequently to regulate professional practice. The second one, there is an increasing number of collaborative arrangements among providers, especially between universities and workplaces. The third one, universities and professional associations are active and important providers with an increasing number of programs being offered in distance education formats. And the final one, the amount of continuing education offered at the workplace is insignificant in comparison to that offered by any other of providers. And the insignificant number is surpassed that of all providers combined. So these are the features in the continuing education that we need corrupt the element of collaboration. So what do you need? What about other firms? What sort of things that you need to have the element collaboration to pull in? And also what are other ideas that you need collaboration? Let me know by giving me the feedback and comments below. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Until next time.